अच्छा ठीक है सो अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन आई एम सुशील संगीता सराफ वेलकम टू एन अनादर क्लास ऑफ ट्राइबल स्टडीज ऑन ट्राइबल एथनिसिटी एंड आइडेंटिटी पार्ट टू इन प्रीवियस क्लास द एथनिसिटी एंड आइडेंटिटी पार्ट वन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिफरेंसेस एंड इन इक्वालिटी द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इक्वालिटी ग्रुप डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वी हैव ऑल्सो हाईलाइटेड द इंडियन सीनारियो ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड इन इक्वालिटी we also discuss about government initiative for tribal inclusion in the main society we learn about the conflict identity crisis of tribal uh, in the modern uh, world we also learn about the uh, uh, the equality equality in uh, tribal area so today lecture is uh, going to delivered by our resource person dr mehul chohan faculty of sambalpur university he had taken almost three classes of this course you all are familiar with him good teacher a very good research researcher and a very good social activist activist he has a multi talented and outstanding personality so welcome sir to our another class and now i like to request uh, to mehul sir to start this class thank you madam so good morning everyone today we will be discussing about tribal identity and ethnicity part 2 previously we had a discussion on it under a part 1 series so today basically we are going to see development and progress which would have various economic and social dimensions this would be the first part the second part would be related to alienation and migration related to the tribals and finally in the third segment we would see employment trends among tribal population in india so when we are here to discuss this development and progress and we are going to see economic and social dimensions we have to understand the concept of tribe their livelihood because livelihood is very closely associated with economic and social dimensions is my voice audible yes sir yes sir okay yes okay. sir because i received received the message it is not audible now is it audible so you are audible please continue we will dis okay we will discuss the development discourses of tribes and also the impact of development discourses on livelihood of tribals because i have been saying this from my very first class the tribals are intrinsically related with jal jungle and zameen that is your land forest and water now india as we know has had the largest population of the tribals in the world after africa and if we go to a last census it states that around 104.2 million people who are tribals are there which is around 8.6% of country's total population and we find the tribal population in various parts of our country the concentration is found along the belt of the himalayas stretching from jammu and kashmir to himachal pradesh to uttarakhand to assam meghalaya tripura arunachal pradesh mizoram manipur and nagaland in the northeast we have another concentration of the tribal population in states like karnataka tamil nadu and kerala in south gujarat and rajasthan in west madhya pradesh and lakshadweep and andaman nicobar islands so who are these tribes we had discussed that these tribes whom we are also calling as adivasis means the original inhabitants and we see that the anthropologists have conceived a tribe as a society it represents all the features and characteristics of the society they have their own 
kind of diversity and groups and communities whom we call as tribes they are enormously diverse what you find in west would be different from south to east to to the tribes residing in various states in the himalayan belt so they have diversity they are diverse in terms be it in terms of their size in terms of their physical traits in terms of their territory in terms of the language they speak in terms of their social stratification so there are lot of differences and the tribal societies have never been static change has been in general however slow and gradual so when we speak of development discourse of tribes we first have a pre independence period where we used to see this tribes as rugged who lived in forest and remote parts they were isolated from the mainstream of the society now <clears throat> these tribal groups had their own forms of political organization in tribal societies jahan ki we speak in oriya or hindi the tribe headmen or mukhya used to be there when the british rule came into india situations started changing because britishers tried to bring in lot of uniform civil and criminal laws as well as lot of administrative structures were imposed aji bhi independent india re amaro anek gudae ain guda ko achi seita british kalin ain guda ko achi jaha ki ebe bhi ame taku follow karuchu use karuchu similarly a tribal context re bhi similarly similarly a tribal context re kon hai chi je jebe a uniform civil au criminal laws guda ko asila sei samaye re चेंजेस गुड़ाक हेबार आरंभ हो कहीं गवर्नमेंट हैड टू केटर टू इट्स ओन इंटरेस्ट गवर्नमेंट हैड टू केटर टू इट्स ओन इंटरेस्ट सो वी सी दैट द कलोनियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मशीनरी विद ट्राइब्स इन इंडिया दे वर लार्जली अथॉरिटेरियन एंड एक्सप्लॉयटेटिव इन नेचर बिकॉज दे हैड टू सर्व द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ देयर ब्रिटिश एम्पायर we had discussed about varia alwin in our previous class the british anthropologist who had proposed a policy of development in isolation se kon kahile 1939 re se advocate karile je ei isolation policy jaha dwara ki national parks guda ko baneiba pai se gurutva dele jo thi tribals manan ko Outside world to isolate, carry key, rock hazy bo, because this would help the tribals to remain isolated, and then there was no intention to integrate them with the mainstream life. Tankaro Sanskriti, Tankaro Rohani, Tankaro Bhasa, Tankaro Parampara. Say it as ta bhitre hi, it would have remained safe. So the British during the British period, they without considering the ambivalent. colonial origin they made arrangements for the administration of the tribals during the british period and were by and large the same policy we continued after the british period india after independence also continued the same policy so first we saw the pre independence period second we are going to see the post independence period in the post independence period we see that when india became independent in 1947 tribes in general and hills tribes in particular they lived in isolation tankaro educational social or economic backwardness rahi thila seti pai amaro deshara prathama pradhan mantri prime minister jawaharlal nehru propose kari thile panch ti principle ja ko nehru tribal panchil kuha jaye which basically i would quote from the analysis made by tripathi in the year 1988 it stated that to allow people to develop along their own cultural lines to respect land rights 
to train tribal for the administration of the schemes to work through tribal social institutions and to judge results not by statistics and expenditure but by the quality of human character that is involved so nehru developed and adopted this panchshil principle jaha ki se jaha dwara kahile je tribal manankar jo bhi cultural rights achi respect to land achi tankar jo bhi schemes gula ko ana jibo tankar development pai that has to be administered through the tribals and we should not see by statistics or expenditure but we should see the quality of human character jaha ki with passage of time it's getting evolved so we had the pre independence phase we had the post independence phase and then comes the important that is the constitutional safeguards so constitution has made lot of special provisions for our tribal brothers and sisters these include among them statutory recognitions like article 342 as the scheduled tribes so that special administrative measures could be addressed our a special measures gula ko kona hela tribals manamko pai proportionate share quota in state employment jaha bhi sarkar ro jobs achi employment achi sethi kare gote proportionate quota re tanku reservation ta representation ta deba pai ona gola state legislature re ebong amaro national parliament re ता छोड़ा स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज मध्य रे एहा को पारित करा गरा देयर इज आल्सो रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन द राइट ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी सिटीजन टू मूव एंड सेटल इन ट्राइबल एरियाज जे नॉन ट्राइबल अछंती जे ऑर्डिनरी सिटीजन अछंती केते गुडाए जागा रे ए रेस्ट्रिक्शन अछि जे नॉन ट्राइबल माने ट्राइबल जागा को जाय की से माने सेठी जागा टा किणी पारिबे नाही दे कैन नॉट एक्वायर लैंड और प्रॉपर्टी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर area so all these provisions were made our jobs and specifically article amaro 144 of the jahaki jobs and appointments in favor of tribal communities we say re kahuchi then bharatoro samvidhan constitution also gives protection to tribal languages tapare dialects and culture so that the distinct identity and tradition can be maintained seti pai there is directive principles of the constitution that requires that the education and economic interest of the weaker sections of the society including tribes is specially promoted so we see there are so many constitutional safeguards ta bhitore fifth and sixth scheduled area provision asila fifth schedule area re provide kara gala for establishment of tac t a c mane tribal advisory councils in tribal dominated areas of mainland and sixth schedule area provides for a d c autonomous district councils e jo amara autonomous district councils which operate in northeastern region of india and tribal advisory councils consist of members of which three quarters are to be represented by the scheduled tribes in the legislative assembly so you see that all these provisions have been made in the constitution to help the tribals to lead a good life and also to come forward so we see that the function of these councils is to advise federal government mane central government ko advise karibo on matters pertaining to the welfare of the tribes in the state autonomous district councils on other hand would provide tribal communities a space for certain legal and administrative autonomy jaha ki hame self governance ko ho kahe ki tribal manan karo ei paramparik feature achi je se mane self governance se mane kebe bhi kaha under re rahu na thile tankara self governance system rahi thila tankara headman rahi thila seti pai ei ऑटोनॉमस डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल्स गुडा को बना गला जहा द्वारा कि तांको किछि फॉर्म ऑफ सेल्फ गवर्नेंस दिया जाओ अ क्लियर एंड स्ट्रांग लीगल फ्रेमवर्क एग्जिस्ट एंकर्ड इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया सो वी सी दैट नॉट विथ स्टैंडिंग माने इत्ते सब फैसिलिटीज गुडा को दिया गला प्रोविजंस दिया गला 
ट्राइबल पीपल हैव नॉट गेन्ड अ लॉट फ्रॉम देम तथापि जदि आम आज देखा जिते भी आम ट्राइबल पीपल अच्छा से मैंने डेभलप कर आम जिते भी कहे प्रोटेक्शन करपलिफ्टमेंट कर डिसएडवांटेज ट्राइब्स नेशनल डेवलपमेंट जहा कि की टू द स्टेट एजेंडा पोस्ट आवर इंडिपेडेट इंडिया नेशनल डेवलपमेंट आम गोटे मुख्य एजेंडा रही किंतु सही एजेंडा भितर आज भी ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट एत हो पारि ना वी हाव नट बीन दैट सक्सेसफुल सो After these constitutional safeguards, seeing the pre-independence phase, post-independence phase, constitutional safeguards, we come to the fourth form, that is government programs and policies for tribal development. कहें कि British colonial policy जो उटा थिला, at least in as much as it had to deal with its legacy. अमर अगर भी first, second legacy plan आसिला. Say somewhere, tribals were not given separate consideration in development efforts. Ta pore, ame dekhiru subsequently jabe third five-year plan a asila. Say time re, a program jah tribal development blocks ro program chila say ta introduce kora gula. First plan, second plan re basically guru ko diya jai nahi. Third plan re tribal development blocks guda ko initiate kora gula. Fourth plan re creation of six tribal development agencies in states with high concentration of tribal population was under. Jo jo rajya guda kore, bohu bhagore, adi basi jana sankhya thila, pray chhoti jaga re tribal development agencies guda ko gada gola. Ta pore asila amaro jo fifth plan jebe amaro tribal sub plan orna gola, jaha ki integrated tribal development projects ko cover kori la. so we see that a jebe project ta ko se mane cover karile ta ko puni se marda karile modified area development approach jaha dwara ki small pockets of tribal jo population thila tankor bhi rapid socio economic development pai programs guda ko ana gola jebe ame tribal health bisoy re kahibu ame dekhibu je ट्राइबल पीपल आइसोलेटेड रहिले आउ से माने गुटे इंडिजिनस अल्टरनेटिव सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन्स ता बने छन दे हैव अ रिच नॉलेज ऑफ हर्ब्स प्लांट्स इंसेक्ट्स एनिमल्स तांकरो एटा गुटे इंडिजिनस नॉलेज अछि ए कम्युनिटी मानन को एंड दे हैव बीन यूजिंग दीस ड्रग्स एंड प्रैक्टिसेस एंड हैव सस्टेन्ड फॉर फॉर जनरेशंस किंतु वर्तमान हमें देखु छु जो चेंजेस गुड़ा को से मैंने एलोपैथिक मेडिसिन आड़ को भी आसुचान व्हेन दे आर नॉट एबल टू क्योर और टू ट्रीट देम सेल्स एंड टुडे वी वी सी सी दैट हैज बीन वेरियस हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स व्हेन वेरियस हेल्थ इंडाइसेस लाइक लो बर्थ वेट लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी मेटर्नल मोर्टालीटी रेट इनफेन्ट मोर्टालीटी रेट एंड प्रेभलेन्स रेट अफ वेरियस कम्युनिकेबल डिजिजेस अल्कोहलिज्म एटा सबु तांको भितरे आसीस एबे आमे जिबा आमरो इंपैक्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट डिस्कोर्स ऑन ट्राइबल लाइवलीहुड डेवलपमेंट आमे कहछु ए डेवलपमेंट द्वारा ट्राइबल लाइवलीहुड किबा ट्राइबल आजीविका ता उपरे कोन प्रभाव ता पडिस काहे कि डेवलपमेंट करिबा पई आमरो देश रे किबा विश्व रे सब जगह रे लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन देछि मिनरल एक्सप्लोइटेशन खनन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट रोड्स सो आगरे देयर वर नेशनल हाईवे वी यूज्ड टू से गोटे हाईवे थिला तापर टू वे फोर वे एट वे सिक्स वे 16 वे वी डोंट नो हाउ मच डेवलपमेंट इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डैम पावर इरिगेशन सो ऑल दीस थिंग्स स्टार्टेड टेकिंग प्लेस एंड here we are going to discuss it by firstly speaking about displacement and rehabilitation of tribals as i had said in the beginning the tribal communities constitute 8.6% of total population of the country yet over 50% of those displaced belong to this section of our population mane try and understand 50% of the displacement jaha ee development pai hochi seta kahara hochi 
ट्राइबल लोक मान डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट अफ द ट्राइबल जहाँ अच्छी दे आर बीन प्लां आउट इन ट्राइबल एरिया वेर सीपीआर आर द नर्मस सीपीआर मान कमन प्रपर्टी रिसोर्स तो दैट इज ओन्ड बाय द कम्युनिटी जेमिति की ग्रेजिंग ग्राउंड कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी रिसोर्स है द कम्युनिटी रो आदिवासी गाँ रो आदिवासी हेमलेट रो आईटा सब आम यूज कर डेवलपमेंट द्वारा डिस्प्लेसमेंट हो प्रडक्शन सिस्टम टा नष्ट होगनइजेस फिजिकाल एंड सोशियाल एसपेक्ट मान एत रिस्क अच्छी माइकल सेरेनिया ना पढ़ी थी कि शुणी थी जे इम्पावरिशमेंट रिस्क असेसमेंट मॉडल को प्रोपाउंड कर आईआरए मॉडल दे थिले से ए डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड रिहैबिलिटेशन ऑफ ट्राइबल ऊपर कही के रिस्क एसोसीएटेड अच्छी जमी लैंडलेसने होमलेसने जबलेसने मार्जिनालेशन फुड इनसिक्योरीटी लस अफ आसे टू कमन प्रपर्टी रिसोर्से इनक्रिज मर्बिडिटी एंड सोशल डिसआर्टिकुलेसन यही सब जी प्रोब्लेम अच्छी चाकरी ना जमी ना घर ना खाद्य ना सोसाइटी से मार्जिनालाइज हो जाऊँगी जो कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी रिसोर्स अच्छी एसेसटा नष्ट हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रोब्लेमस गुड़ाक मर्बिडिटा बढ़ी जाऊँगी सोशल डिसआर्टिकुलेसन होनशिपटा भांगी जाऊँगा सब हूँ डिस्प्लेसमेंट जो आउ रिहाबिलिटेशन ऑफ ट्राइबल्स जो गोटे आउ जड़े बहुत फेमस स्कॉलर अच्छा वाल्टर फर्नांडिस से स्टडी जहाँ से भार्ली सह करते अराउंड अल प्रोजेक्ट टूगेदर इन आसाम फ्रम नाइन फर्टी सेवेन टू टू थाउजेंड अराउंड फिफ्टीन लाख एकर अफ लैंड आउट अफ विच टू थर्ड अफ विच बिलंग टू कमन प्रपर्टी रिसोर्से हाव बी यूज so we can see the impact that is taking place due to the displacement and there are special provisions which need to be adhered to so that we can minimize the impact on the vulnerable tribal community ta pore asuchi identity and development jebe ame identity and development bisoy re kahu chu here we see that identities need not always be centered on a particular caste religion identities can also take form of something material that we are associated jemiti ke amo tribal economy has been integrated into wider economy tankar arthavyavastha amaro major bado arthavyavastha bhitare integrated hei jai chi jebe ame tankar displacement ta karuchu kimba displacement from their existing modes of living snaps they move off from their core social as well as cultural lives how displacement dislocates them from their territory their homeland leading to a erosion of their identity mu koi thili jemiti tankor kinship ta bhangi social disarticulation hei jauchi how tankor identity te choli jauchi jemiti ki gote tribal gote tribal gram re nijo gaan re nijo parbat re nijo जंगल जो रोचा तार जो आईडेटी अच्छी से डेली रे कि बम्बे रे कि चेन्नई रे से आईडेटा रही सो दिस आईडेटी एंड डेभलपमेंट इट इज हाविंग अ मेजर इम्पैक्ट डेभलपमेंट हूँ आईडेटी लसटा हूँ स्मल इकोनोमी ग्लोबल इकोनोमी मर्ज हो आईडेटी पड़ जा आईडेटी देर इज इरोजन अफ ट्राइबल आईडेटी आम देखा लैंड एंड कस्टमरी लॉस सेंट्राल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव इंस्टीट्यूशनल कंट्रोल कहली ब्रिटिश अथरीटेरियन रेजीम आसला आर इंटरेस्ट को कैटर करने जो सेटअप करें सिस्टम से दिस ब्यूरोक्रेटिक होल्ड जिते भी आम ब्यूरोक्रेसी होल्ड अच्छी आम परंपरागत न्याचुराल रिसोर्से जंगल उपटे लोकंर पार्टीसीपेसन स्पेस टा बहुत कम रही आती जो कस्टमरी लस थे रिभाइव करने गोटे चैलेंज 
it's very difficult to revive customary laws where you have a very strict bureaucratic control on natural resources and rigid forest legislation can it jungle out journey eta definitely there are major uh, important concepts and major important part and parcel elements in tribal life which are closely linked and tribes continue to treat their customary laws and community ethos as intrinsic to their identity tankaro jungle tankaro bana devta tankaro water bodies ko se mane pray karanti tankaro customs rituals bada ko follow karanti so it's very important we have seen that bahut bade tension ho chi conflict ho chi state of customary laws which question their livelihood and that is why many times you will see that there are movements and acts of insurgents against the state state jebe ehi adivasi manankara customary laws ra hanan karuchi aur tanku harm karuchi hele bele bele kon hochi ame bahut gudae acts of insurgents guda ko madhya dekhiba ko pauchu now we go to this fourth point of tribal movement we see that there has been history re ame dekhibu je unrest among tribals how jebe ei unrest ta hochi bahut activities of left wing extremism in the region ho how jo amra dialectical processes of protection and erosion of resources and identity work jahchi with greater ferocity in the tribal belt sathi pai ame dekhu chu je jebe tribals manakor land ta are being annexed fraudulently then there have been movements for instance andhra pradesh re jebe adivasi manankaro jami ta landlords mane fraudulent bhare nei nauthile andhra pradesh re ei naxal movement ta start hela ja ki puni soon spread hela telangana au rail sima districts ku so we see that uh, pwg ja ki 1980 re bana jai thila and similarly such many other naxal movements they went beyond andhra pradesh andhra pradesh ko bahar ko gole jemiti orissa jharkhand madhya pradesh chatisgarh karnataka ei sabu jagare au ame eta bi dekhi chu je ei bholiya insurgency is even present in states like west bengal bihar haryana kerala and tribals continuously fought for the rights against their natural social economic and cultural resources being appropriated increasingly bahariya loko asuchanti tankar ei sabu sansadhana guda ko nei nauchanti seti mein tribal movements guda ko ho chi bele bele demands for separate states as in case of jharkhand and bodoland to outright separation such as nagaland and mizoram have been taking place एटा सब होची इंसर्जेंसी जहा की फळित तो हेची काही की बिकॉज़ ऑफ इंपैक्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट डिस्कोर्स ऑन ट्राइबल लाइवलीहुड नाउ वी विल गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बिफोर वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इफ देयर आर एनी क्वेश्चंस रिलेटिंग टू व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन दिस पार्ट यू मे आस्क मी दैट व्हाटएवर इज द कोर्स कंटेंट इनसाइड दैट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टू बी आस्क्ड प्लीज राइट एंड सेंड देन वी स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड पार्ट so that there is no confusion later okay so there is no there are no questions i i see so we go on to the second part which is the alienation and migration that i had been speaking of here we will try to see the concept amaro a chapter say it i say slide tai rahibo objectives jo first slide ta thila amaro alienation and migration ro ame ebe objectives dekhibu ei bisoy upre when we are going to discuss we are trying to understand the concept of alienation and migration we are trying to understand the objective is to understand the laws related to land regulation and ownership of land kimba ei jo land transfer scheduled areas re hochi jo ti tribal communities mane ro chanti kon hochi sei ti sei ta ame dekhiba ta chhoda am au objective bada ko hochi determinants and consequences of migration aji to migration gote bahut bado important issue hai jaisi particularly jebe ame aji india re labor migration dekhu chu au ei labor migration bhitre bhi kitoti tribal labor migration jaha hochi that's a 
very important thing to see and these can will help you to better governance and consequences ta chhara ame dekhibo amaro au gote objective achi ji process jaha dwara tribal land alienation hochi taku madhye ame dekhiba ku chesta koribu ele ए ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को नहीं कि हमें इंट्रोडक्शन रे एटा जानी बाकु हमें चेस्टर करूँगा जे बिफोर कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ कंट्री बाय ब्रिटिश जे भी ब्रिटिश आसीन न थे रे ट्राइबल्स वर सेल्फ गवर्निंग फर्स्ट नेशंस नॉट ओनली इन कंट्रीज ऑफ इंडिया हम पूरा भी जो भी ट्राइबल सोसाइटी को देखें � तो पार्ट थिला ट्राइबल्स को जहाँ की कौनो सी रोजार और किंगडम बितरे थिला किंतु तांकोरा निजरो चीफ चीफ्स थिले पॉलिटिको एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सिस्टम थिला एंड ट्राइबल्स ऑलवेज रेजिस्टेड एनी इंपोजिशन ऑफ एनी एलियन ट्राइबल ऊपर कौनो से भी एलियन लासित में सीमा सोता बिल्ड ऑपोर्स को स्टार्ट self governing autonomous tribal societies by bringing the tribal homelands under their control se mane kon korile jitte bhi Student, please wait. He will join soon. Yes, sir. He will join. Just a second. Please connect it. Please stay connected. He will join you.
yes sir okay yes continue so alienation and migration as a concept sir it's sir, mute upon... na is my voice audible yes, yes now it is audible okay okay so alienation and migration as a concept now in the words of marx in a capitalistic society amaro tinita society achi capitalistic society mixed society or socialistic society kimba economy kintu capitalistic society re kon hochi je an alienated man lives in an alienated nature and he performs a strange labor and the product of his labor becomes alien to him this is exactly what i explained before je gote tribal labor achi jaha ki ghar banaiba pai kaam karuchi ghar ta banauchi kintu kon se sei ghar bhitre rahi paruchi ki sei se ghar ro ownership jaha cities re duplex hochi ki flats hochi ki apartments hochi se kon se ta pai paruchi nahi eta achi amaro capitalistic society ro consequences similarly this alienation as a concept eta bahut social scientists india re use karichanti aao eta gote khali merely sociological phenomenon nahi kahi ki land alienation is the crux of the depeasantization of tribals kahi ki se mane peasants thile farm re kaam karuthile land alienation hei gola se mane au peasants rahile nahi किंतु एबे कौन है जाई से माने लेबरर्स है जाई छंती एई जो प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैंड एलिएनेशन इज डीपली कनेक्टेड विद फेनोमेनन्स विच फुल ऑफ कॉन्ट्राडिक्शंस रिलेटेड टू वेरियस सोशल एज वेल एज इकोनॉमिक डिस्कोर्सेस जेबे जोमीरू ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज गुडाकु आमे अलगा करि दो छु तांकर लाइफ टा पूरा पूरी भाव में नष्ट कंपेसेशन यू मे गिव क्रोर्स ऑफ रुपीस टू द ट्राइबल फैमिली एंड यू गो एंड मेड देम आफ्टर अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स दैट मनी विल नॉट बी देयर लैंड रही कौन फूड सिक्योरिटी तो रोच लैंड इज पास फ्रम वन जेनेशन टू अनदर जेनेशन सो दैट गिवस देम फुड सिक्योरिटी सो विल मुव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ये नाउ we will see this alienation and migrations as concept where first we are going to see the typologies or mode of alienation here we see that the typology or of alienation it varies between both individuals and institutions when we see land alienation to individual it can be divided as urban land alienation rural land alienation as well as tribal to non tribal as well as tribal to tribal kyunki in both the areas the reasons will be different in urban areas reasons primarily a land alienation is because of increasing housing requirement or for non agricultural purpose urban areas the land requirements ta rohi chi eta and this type of alienation its speed has always increased after independence and this type of alienation has continued to grow with the passage of time now how does this happen collusive title suits collusive restorations sada patta marrying a tribal woman etc so so that that land comes बहुत जगार यहाँ हूँ डेमोग्राफिक चेंजेस यहाँ को डेमोग्राफिक चेंजेस भी कहीपर जो लैंड एलिएशन करने जाए ट्राइबल वुमेन सह बाहा करदेल ताल से जमीटा आध्यम दैट लैंड इज गेटिंग एलिएटेड द पर्सन हू हेज मैरिड हि टेक्स दैट लैंड इन रूराल एरिया एलिएशन इज बेसिकली टू मी डे टू डे क्या स्ट्रैप पुअर ट्राइब्स रूराल एरिया कौन केमी लैंड एलिएशन ये सब सिटी एरिया हो ए गरीब आदिवासी लोक मैंने दे मर्टगेज टू द मनी लैंडर टू गांव का सेठ और साहू का 
and then they have to pay interest the interest becomes more than principal and this cycle vicious cycle of poverty continues so these are the various typologies or mode of alienation now we will see forms of alienation ebe hame forms of land alienation ko dekhiba the first and foremost is the manipulation of land records the unsatisfactory state of land records have contributed to this problem of alienation and this problem is persistent since the time of independence because the tribals were never legally recognized as the owners of the land which they cultivated unko unke zameen ka malikana haq kabhi nahi mila jis zameen pe wo krishi karte the jaha upar se maine 400 karu thi then the second form of alienation takes place because of benami transfers benami transfers jomiro hoti jothi large scale of transfer or ownership of adivasi lands are being allowed to go out of hands through illegal and benami transaction adivasi jamin ko illegal benami transaction kari alienate kara jauchi collusive civil proceedings madhyam are and in which land remains to be in the name of original owners who are reduced to level of share croppers tanko nare rahibo kintu se mane khali share croppers rahi ki rahibe au real power and control of that land rests in hands of someone else then land alienation is taking place through leasing money lenders kimba rich farmers garibo chasi आदिवासी चासी, धनी चासी पाख को जाई की, से लैंड टा मॉर्गेज करी दो उच्च। एनक्रोचमेंट, दिस इज अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ डिस्पोजिंग द ट्राइबल्स ऑफ देयर लैंड, एंड दिस इज डन बाय न्यू एंट्रेंस इन ऑल द प्लेसेस। आदिवासी जागा रे, नुआ लोग को आसी की, तांको जमी ऊपरे कब्जा करी की रहो चांती। because they have been using it since generation so there is bribing to the local patwari manipulating date of settlement of land distribute and in such a way and fashion land alienation is again run land is transferred from the tribals to non tribals similarly we see that in the name of protecting the interest of tribals bahut stringent law hai ji government madhyam are किंतु नॉन ट्राइबल्स माने ता भितरे लूप होल्स टू देयर एडवांटेजेस बाहर करी दे छन दिस डबल एज्ड नेचर ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी इज वन ऑफ द फैसेट्स ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग कॉन्ट्राडिक्शंस इन ट्राइबल इंडियन ट्राइबल सोसाइटी सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ लैंड एलिनेशन इज नॉट एन एक्सीडेंटल वन किंतु एठी समस्त मिसी की एफर्ट्स करी की ट्राइबल पीपल को चीट करी की एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉज रे लूप होल्स बाहर करी की ए लैंड गुडा को पुअर फार्मर रिच फार्मर और लैंड रिच नहीं हो छी ता छोड़ा बेनामी ट्रांजैक्शंस हो छी एंड इन विद द सिविल प्रोसेस दे आर ट्राइंग टू एनेक्स द ट्राइबल लैंड मैरिटल अलायंसेस इज आल्सो अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ सर convent the law and grab tribal land at no cost because once you marry a tribal girl then you are grabbing the land at no cost so all these things have been taking place then we see tribal migration migration has been regarded as the step child of demography demographers have largely concentrated on measurement of volume of migration neglecting its economic and social consequences ebe bhi ame dekhibu ebe ame news re kon dekhu chu ette migration ho chi ette lakhya lok mane jau chanti kintu sei ta to gote small facet hai chi ame ei tar je bhi dekhibu taro economic aur social fallout ta kon semiti hi tribal migration jaha ho chi the number is okay but what is the economic and social fallout of the tribal migration what is its consequences even our population policy does not include migration in its purview nah tribal migration is somewhat different from non tribal migration both at national and international levels so tribal's decision for migration kahi hochi tribal mane primarily 
एट लेवल ऑफ किन क्लैन एंड विलेज माइग्रेट कर इफ विलेज और पीपल माइग्रेट टू अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस अ ट्राइबल फैमिली हैज टू डिसाइड अबाउट द प्लेस ऑफ द डेस्टिनेशन बट the migration that takes place among the urbans so if you are going from india to study at a good university abroad or to do a job that migration is adding value to you but here in case of tribal migration what we are seeing is that their quality of life is getting deteriorated because the tribal regions consist largely of hills and forests and the topography and terrain in such place of origin is too difficult and unfriendly however today we have been able to reach to all these places because of the development programs before because of infrastructure facilities that have been developed so when tribal migrates from the first level of social structure and cultural system they find themselves introduced to another social level or structure or cluster of villages Well, contours are all together different. When tribal migration कौन है ना बोनो जंगल और उसे first village to migrate करेला, then से city settle है ना, and they started residing with the other caste people in the village. The cultural aspect undergo a drastic change. तांकोर fairs और ची festivals और ची customs और ची ceremonies और ची जहाँ की से hills और forest रे करो थे ले सेटा से माने सही गांव रे तो करी पारिबे नहीं बिकॉज़ दे विल बी अंडर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ वेरियस कास्ट्स मे बी द हिंदू कास्ट एंड द नॉन ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स दिस पैटर्न ऑफ सोशियो एंड कल्चर एंड सोशल स्ट्रक्चर एंड कल्चरल सिस्टम इज ओरिएंटेड टू बेटर एजुकेशन एंड मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑफ सर्विसेज सो व्हेन दिस ट्राइबल क्रॉसेस द बाउंड्री ऑफ द हिंटरलैंड they are exposed to a variety of new social structure and cultural system at their new destination and one or two generations they slowly social structure or cultural system ko adopt karanti migration therefore makes a socio and cultural transformation at both the places tribal manankara eta gote important features achi ta pore ame dekhu dekhiba various your forms of land alienation jahaki hochi that means the laws relating to land rights and land transfers that are taking place so we see that the incidence of landlessness is more pronounced among these groups when we say these groups sabutu jahor tribal groups the bulk of whom are agricultural laborers they have very small minuscule holdings or are share croppers a uh, planning commission estimate kari chi 49.6% of scheduled tribes are below the poverty line they have already made this as an estimate so we have to see here how these frameworks would be done to address the needs and address the requirements of the tribal people जेबे आम एलिएशन विषय देखुचर प्रोब्लेम्स जहाँ कि आसी फाइंड दैट देर हाव बीन लट अफ मुंट्स दैट हाव टेकन प्लेस बहुत मुंट होती कि मुंडा रिबेलीयन होर रिवोल्ट जहाँ कि छोटा नागपुर ट्राइबल रिवोल्ट एटीन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेन देन यू हाव द संथाल रिबेलीएसन madri kalko revolt and all these have taken place in 1800s 1807 1830 31 79 and they became a major threat to the british administration how a jitte movement hechi these movements they had religious and social issues agrarian problems were the principal mobilizing forces how agrarian problems mane amar jitte bhi ai forms of land alienation issues guda ko rahi chi we'll change the slide we'll go to the next slide yes jebe ame a frames ta ku dekhu chu these frames that have taken place over here we find that there have been lots of problems that have come up 
आते गुड़ाक एक्ट गुड़ाक अणा गला जमीती छोटा नागपुर टेनेसी एक्ट सेंट्रल प्रोविन्स लैंड एलिएशन एक्ट सब इम्पोर्टेन्ट अच्छी छोटा नागपुर टेनेसी एक्ट ना दिज मेजर्स फर्मली अंडरटेकन ओनली टू सप्रेस द ट्राइबल एजुटेशन आउ ब्रिटिश रो किसी इंटरेस्ट ना प्रपर इम्लीमेंटेसन फाइन एंड बिकज द प्रोजन अफ दिज एक्ट were affecting the interests of the upper caste elites who were mostly landlord and zameen zamindars of various kinds and the main agents of british india itte sab laws guda ko asila tathabi tribal land alienation continued in the same pace both guda ko ei sab legal legal framework chota nagpur tenancy act 11 november 1908 re आसला जेबी आम बीरसा मुंटा जहाँकिवे गवर्न कर लैंड रईट रेगुलेट द एक्विजिशन फर पब्लिक पर्पज एंड प्रोटेक्ट द ट्राइबल फ्रम एलिएशन अफ दर रिसोर्से गिविंग देम एक्जिक्यूटिव प्रोटेक्शन एंड यही सीरीज पंचायती राज आम एक्सटेनसन टू सेड्यूल्ड एरिया एक्ट नाइंटी नाइंटी सिक्स लैंड एलिएशन को prevent koriba pai prevent land alienation of land in scheduled areas and to an appropriate action to restore any unlawfully alienated land of scheduled tribes mane kitte provisions guda ko ana gala je tribal manan kor land jaha achi taro alienation no ho tathapi ame dekhibu je tribal land alienation has remained a major principal problem even today even today it has been a major principal problem for example tripura northeast india or state tripura ro gote example ta devi you will find it in your study material also tripura ro gote unique case achi jouti local population jouta achi seita minority hei gola short span of time re till 1941 the indigenous tribals comprised of around 60% of the population but in 1971 they decreased to 28% 60% ru se mane 28% hei gole ebe au talaku khasi jai thi be se mane here to immigration of bengalis began over a 100 years ago mane tripura ro original loko mane shrink hei gole au bengalis se mane sabu jai ki seithi settle hei gole au धीरे धीरे देखा गला जे ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन पपुलेसन प्राय लोप पाई गला द ट्राइबल डिड नॉट प्रोटेस्ट इनिशियली बिकॉज़ दे वर अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ कम्युनिस्ट दे बिलीव दैट देयर इंपावरिशमेंट वाज ड्यू टू हिस्टोरिकल सोशो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशंस एंड रेफ्यूजीज कुड नॉट बी ब्लेम किंतु लेटर ऑन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवेन पर ट्राइबल त्रिपुरा उपजाति जुबा समिति अ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी रिप्रेजेंटिंग ट्राइबल इंटरेस्ट्स वाज फॉर्म दे लॉन्च्ड अ मूवमेंट टू रिमूव नॉन ट्राइबल्स फ्रॉम देयर लैंड एंड देन यू फाइंड लॉट ऑफ इंसर्जेंसी एंड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल दिस केम प्लेस सो बेसिकली आमर जहां जानिबा सिखिबा अछि दे लैंड एलिएनेशन रु केते प्रॉब्लम्स गुडा को सृष्टि हे छि आउ ट्राइबल मानन को पाई तांको लैंड ता केते इंपोर्टेंट अछि आ जेबे जेबे लैंड तांको हाथ रु जाउ छि तांकर लाइवलीहुड नष्ट हो सोशियो इकोनॉमिक वे ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज आल्सो गेटिंग डिस्टर्ब नाउ व्हेन वी सी द माइग्रेशन अमंग द ट्राइबल विमेन एंड गर्ल्स सो व्हाट डू वी सी इज दैट अ ग्रेट नंबर ऑफ दीज माइग्रेंट्स दे आर बीइंग एक्सप्लॉयटेड बाय मिडिलमैन कॉन्ट्रैक्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनीज एम्प्लॉयर्स औ बहुत गुडाए विमेन एंड गर्ल्स वर्क एज हाउसमेट्स and per day they are working up to 18 hours gote din re 18 ghanta kaam karuchanti otherwise usually it is 8 hours job for everyone a large number of tribal women and girls become victims of sexual and financial exploitation their children rarely get an opportunity for good education gradually many women and girls they lose contact with their kith and kins back home 
and become alienated from their culture and roots se mane delhi re rahi gole bombay re rahi gole maid hei ki kaam karuchanti 18 ghanta kaam karuchanti tankar ghar ku pheru nahanti tanko sanskriti ku jau nahanti gote nua life se mane lead karuchanti au seiti tankar jo cultural roots achi seita sabu se mane au chhadi dele so ei migration ro kete adverse impact hochi tribal girls au tribal women upor <coughs> we'll go to the next slide next slide now we see that dynamics of tribal proletarianization now here this means that people move from being employer unemployed or self employed becoming employed as wage laborers so here there are two kinds of basic agents gote side re government achi gote side re money lenders achanti jebe ame government structure ro katha kariba ta bhitore kete policies achi judiciary achi tankor bibhinna structure departments achi law achi bureaucracy achi eita sabu amaro british government time re bhi thila present government time re bhi achi so we are dividing agents means we have two agents first is the government of the british and then we have money lenders landlords tankor socio economic condition illiteracy ignorance ei sabuta misiki di alu impact douchi tribals manankor upare au jaha dwara ette rules regulations bana jai chi tathabi tribal manankor land alienation douchi tribal identity is in transition so we find that decades ago when forests were plentiful an environment was conclusive to the hunting and gathering economy of tribals one could still hope to find a pure tribal in a true sense of the world kintu jebe amara arthik sthiti ta parinito hela jebe amara capitalistic market guda ko asila transformation guda ko hela there is no tribal group that may be defined as pure except some who are isolated tribal population baki ame dekhiba je ei amaro capitalistic pattern capitalistic forces they have penetrated into all walks of tribal life so now we will go on to the third segment in the next slide which we are going to discuss is employment trend among the tribals in india when we are speaking of this livelihood one important aspect to be seen is employment among tribals what is the magnitude and pattern of employment tankor situation ta kon achi ko ko problems se mane face karuchanti tankor sector wise employment kon achi au kon sab development programs goda ko jaha ki tanku tribals ko employment debe which are the development programs that have been made to provide employment to tribals will be discussed now so here what we see is the magnitude and the pattern of labor force is first that we try and see we see that india has been undergoing unprecedented demographic changes because we see that the ongoing demographic changes are likely to continue contribute to an ever increasing size of labor force in the country amara janasankhya jo hisab re vriddhi houchi amara ethi ei sabu changes guda ko jaha ame dekhu chu demographers jaha ko demographic dividend kahanti kahe ki workforce ta badhuchi mane sei ta amara arthaniti pai amo economy pai this is considered as democratic dividend किंतु एटा गोटे बहुत बड़ चैलेंज मध्ये अछि हमर पॉलिसी मेकर्स पै प्लानिंग कमिशन 2010 रे कहिला द जनरेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्टिव एंड गेनफुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट विद डिसेंट वर्किंग कंडीशन इज व्यूड एज अ क्रूशियल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ किंतु आज ही हमें कोन देखु छु एबे एबे वर्तमान अनेक गुडा स्टेट गवर्नमेंट लेबर लॉ रिफॉर्म्स करु छंती से माने बहुत गुडा फ्रेमवर्क जहा अछि ताकु टेम्पोररीली किम्बा परमानेंटली ताकु डिसॉल्व करि दउ छथि हेले प्लानिंग कमिशन जोटा कहिला सेइटा अचीव करबा पय तो सेइटा औरही चैलेंजिंग हे जाउ छि काहे कि हमरो एठी 
गोटे बहुत डाइवर्स नेचर अच्छी बहुत बड़ पपुलेसन अच्छी आउ आम वेरिएशन अच्छी इन एस्टिमेट्स ऑफ लेबर फोर्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड देन वी हैव टू आल्सो सी द जेंडर डायमेंशन ऑफ द लेबर फोर्स दैट इज अवेलेबल इन द कंट्री सो वील गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वील गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड yes and start first by seeing the employment situations what are the employment situations here the latest comprehensive labor market survey ja ki national sample survey organization 2004-5 re karitila ministry of labor and employment ku nei ki sei tare se kahitila based on the survey the estimates of total employment in the country varies from 385 million to 459 million however the data do not reflect the impact of ng nreg on rural employment now high growth in employment was achieved in first half of present decade kahi ki a high growth hela kahi ki fairly 6% to 8% पर एनम इंडियन इकोनॉमी से ही पीरियड रे ग्रो करला किंतु आजिरो कॉन्टेक्स्ट रे जदी देखिबा बेले एबे प्रेडिक्शन कोन अछि जे आमरो जो ग्रोथ लेवल अछि दैट इज लाइकली टू रिमेन 4% बिलो द नॉर्मल ग्रोथ रे काहे कि एबे जो स्थिति परिस्थिति अछि नॉट ओनली नेशनल इकोनॉमी बट आल्सो द इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमी एवरीवन इज फेसिंग दैट प्रॉब्लम सो द एम्प्लॉयमेंट ग्रोथ सेही टाइम रे बहुत हाई थिला employment growth has been significantly higher for urban females than for all other segment that is rural males rural females and urban males a jo national sample survey organization ro report ta asi thila employment situation ku nei ki sabutu favorable rahi thila urban female pai rural male rural female au urban male tanko pai ete favorable na thila jeti ki हायर आमर अर्बन फीमेल पाई थिला काही काही की लिटरेसी अछि वर्क प्रोडक्टिविटी अछि एंड देयर आर अदर फैक्टर्स एसोसिएटेड टू इट व्हिच शोस द एम्प्लॉयमेंट सिचुएशंस एज पर द नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन 2004 फाइव मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लेबर एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन व्हिच एमजी एनआरजी ए डेटा हैज नॉट बीन टेकन देन वी सी द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सिचुएशन in india is not a straight forward issue that we can that can be neither estimated directly with a single measuring rod or addressed with a single initiative bele bele persons they are not reporting but still they are unemployed unemployed employ jo amara unemployment exchange achi ki employment exchange achi seithi re na no rahi ki bhi jone unemployed achi jone poor achi weaker achi पर्टिकुलरली जो माने एग्रीकल्चर चाष कर लो इनकम सेल्फ एम्प्लयमेंट एक्टिविटीज रे अच्छा सो द अनएम्प्लयमेंट रेट वाज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी 5.0 परसेंट ऑफ द ऑल इंडिया लेवल अंडर द लिमिट प्रिंसिपल स्टेशन अप्रोच इन अदर वर्ड्स 5.0 परसेंट ऑफ द पर्सन एज फिफ्टीन इयर्स एंड अब ओवर अवेलेबल फॉर वर्क आउट not get work during the reference period 2015 16 re gote employment and unemployment survey hela jo thi kuha gala je 5.0% of person aged 15 years and above je kaam kariba pai prastut achanti kintu tanko pakhare kaam nahi so this is a really a challenging issue जदि पपुलेसन टा एम बढ़ी चली टैप करमेंट आसमेंट रैट विल अल्टीमेटली अल्सो हाव एन इम्पैक्ट अन् द ट्राइबल पपुलेसन अल्सो एंड वी अल्सो निड टू फोकस पलिसी वि हाव टू हाव अ फोकस अन् आवर पलिसी टू फोकस अन् यूथ इन लेबर फोर्स बिकॉज़ जेबे आमे कहू छु डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड से डिविडेंड टू को हार करबा पई तो आमे को यूथ ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्राम्स किंतु वास्तविकता रे रियलिटी रे व्हाट आर वी सीइंग वी आर गोइंग मोर फॉर मेकेनाइज्ड कंप्यूटराइज्ड ऑटोमेटेड 
जिते अल्प लोक हो भल तनएमेंट तो बढ़ नाउ दे गो एंड सी मेजर एम्प्लयमेंट वेन वि सी रिगार्डिंग द मेजरीटी अफ ट्राइबल पपुलेसन जहाँ अच्छी एम्प्लयमेंट कौन एट्टी परसेंट अफ देम आर एंगेज इन एग्रिकलचर सेक्टर माने ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन विल बी कल्टीवेटर मार्जिनल फार्मर एग्रीकल्चरल लेबरर अ स्मॉल सेगमेंट इज एंगेज इन इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर जेमिति की फैक्ट्री रे काम करिबार अछि कि कोनो सी इंडस्ट्री रे काम करिबार अछि व्हाइल फर्दर स्मॉलर सेगमेंट लाइक तोडास ऑफ नीलगिरी हिल्स तमिलनाडु भुटियास ऑफ सब हिमालयन रीजन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड गाडियास एंड बकेरवाल्स ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर आर कैटल हर्डर्स एटा भी गोटे ऑक्युपेशन अछि कहीं पुरतन काल भारत अर्थ व्यवस्था कहूलु धन वेल्स को डिफाइन करशुधन एनिमल वेल्थ इज अल्सो कनसीडर टू बी एन इम्पोर्टेन्ट पार्ट अफ दि इकोनोमी सो यु सी बकरवालाज अफ जम्मू काश्मीर एंड दि अदर्स आर कैटल हर्डर्स किए आर्टिशन अच्छा सच एज महालीज अफ वेस्ट बेंगल असुर एंड अगारिया अफ बिहार एंड मध्य प्रदेश आर आईरन स्मेल्टर्स एंड ब्लैक स्मिथ्स while about 70 small tribal communities mostly located in southern india are fur gatherers and hunters eta achi amar tribal mane kono kaam karchu tankaro employment kono achi aji puni ame dekhu dekhu chu there is a clarion call being given that we should go back to our own ancestral traditional employment livelihood practices during this global crisis also of late a number of growing of tribal people have joined ranks of migrant agricultural laborer amar eti jauchanti punjab agriculture labor kariba pai and unskilled workers engage construction kariba pai jauchanti bada bada cities guda ko eta bhi ajiro gote nuwa dimension achi so we see that in between the total tribal population a microscopic minority of educated tribals are either government employees or professionals jemiti ki doctors entrepreneurs thus poverty and impoverishment is their lot and we see despite of this poverty and impoverishment is there a lot now here we see hunting and food gathering tribals are the native population of our country india and they lead a simple life in forest tankara geographical region location dekhi ki there are raji seka in the himalayan region kukki hill kharia korwa jwang hill muria and other in the middle india chenchu yenandi in andhra kadran malla pantaram arandar and Kumaba in Kerala, Kullian in Tamil Nadu, Onge, Jarwa, Sentinelis, Champen in Andaman Nicobar Islands are engaged in hunting and food gathering. Eta hoti tankaro livelihood. Jeta se samay re bhi chila, aji bhi tankaro livelihood se eta hi rohi chhe. Then. we go on to the next one next slide ta bhi next ame kori paribu ei jo mo first example deli sei ta hochi amaro hunting and food gathering then comes shifting cultivation population jemiti badi chali chi so is the need for food hunters and gatherers gradually with the passage of time at many places have become food collectors or sorry food cultivators agore se kon karuthile gather karuthile collect karuthile gathering karuthile hunting karuthile ta pare se to transition hai ki se mane cultivation re asile chasso re asile but these cultivators are not settled cultivators au tankoro practice practice ko ame slash and burn cultivation kari ko so people choose a fertile forest land suitable for cultivation sethi jai ki gachha jaha bhi achi jhadi bushes taku ye kari clean kari land taku prepare kari be cultivation pai they would use this land for few years and then again they would move to another place if this method is ideally practiced there is no damage to ecology but the intimate contact with non tribals and economic interest of the tribals at present pose a great threat to the forest ecology 
बहुत जगह रे एबे कल्टीवेशन हैज बीन प्रोहिबिटेड झूम कल्टीवेशन इज स्टिल प्रेवलेंट इन मेनी पार्ट्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट रो बहुत जगह रे हिली फॉरेस्ट रे जेमिति के हमर आसाम मेघालय नागालैंड अरुणाचल त्रिपुरा मिजोरम सर्टेन पार्ट्स ऑफ आंध्र हमर राज्य ओडिसा आउ बिहार आउ मध्य प्रदेश रे ई प्रैक्टिस ता किछि किछि जगह रे वर्तमान मध्य चली छि हेले हमें हंटिंग एंड फूड गैदरिंग रु देखिलु हमें आसिलु शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन को शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन रु हमें जाउछु सेटल्ड कल्टीवेशन यू सी द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ लाइवलीहुड प्रैक्टिसेस अमंग द ट्राइबल्स लैंड असिस्ट एंड सब्सिक्वेंट रिफॉर्म्स ट्रांसफॉर्मड सेवरल ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज टू प्रैक्टिस सेटल्ड कल्टीवेशन शिफ्टिंग नाइन सेटल्ड गोटे जगह रे although it brought considerable economic gains to tribal communities kintu ta sah problems cultivation related jemniti ki indebtedness disguised employment land alienation monsoon failure poor irrigation eta sabu kon karela increase karela tribal farmer ro burden shifting from traditional crops to cash crop also altered tribal society ट्रेडिशनल कोन कोर्डो कुट्टी मिलेट रागी आ तापर से कैश क्रॉप को पळेले जेमिति की कॉटन अछि सो ताहा द्वारा भी ट्राइबल सोसाइटी को बहुत इफेक्ट हे छि आउ एबे डेटा जणो छि जे 80% ऑफ ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन हैज बीन एंगेज्ड इन एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज सो हंटिंग फूड गैदरिंग टू शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन टू सेटल कल्टीवेशन टू नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट a number of tribes a number of tribes they have for their livelihood they have started practicing crafts jemiti ki basket making tool making spinning traditional skill jaha tankor achi primitive instruments and locally available raw materials jungle re parvat re pahad re taku nei se mane objects guda ko बनोचंती आ जो वीकली हाट हुए बाजार हुए सेठी जाई के से माने ताको कैश फॉर सेल करूचंती ट्राइब्स लाइक गुज्जर किन्नौरी मेक वुड प्रैक्टिसेस कंजर एंड महाली आर एंगेज्ड इन बास्केट मेकिंग करमाली इन आयरन स्मिथी असुरा एंड अगाड़िया इन आयरन मेल्टिंग एंड चेक बराइक इन क्लॉथ मेकिंग सो अलगा अलगा जहां अचंती ट्राइब्स माने से माने विभिन्न प्रकार रो नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट को मध्य से माने जॉइन करी छंती आउ एहारे यदि हमें देखिबा बिसाइड्स दिस द जो हमरो पास्टोरल आउ कैटल ब्रीडर्स अछंती जेमिति की आगरे मु कहितली हमरो बकरवाल जम्मू कश्मीर रे ता परे गुज्जर गाडी जो दिन हिमालयन रीजन भारवाड राइसीपोत्रा एंड रबारी इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया रन ऑफ कछरे अछंती रबारी Todas, Gullas, Khoruba, and Lambadi in South India constitute the pastoral and cattle breeder. I mean, jaha kono thun veterinary. E mane samasthe pasu dhano ko nijora ajibika kimba employment. This is non-agricultural employment. They are involved in and with ecological adjustment. Their rituals, festivals also revolve around the animals, which in fact are their. companions and many of them wherever they will go they will have their animals going upon with them we'll go on to the next slide development programs and employment unemployment beginning jab hamara planning start hela first five year plan second five year plan third five year plan unemployment was not seen as a major problem hence a reasonable high rate of economic growth combined with an emphasis on labor intensive sector jemiti ki small scale industries ta jaha dwara ki employment ho kahe ki amo ko eta bhabi ba kotha amo desh re kono amo desh re labor bahut achi human resource bahut achi ame eti sabu capital intensive technology au khali machines lagai ba tahale youth kouti jibo सेति पे फर्स्ट 5 इयर सेकंड 5 इयर इनिशियल री हम किछि प्रॉब्लम्स नथिला एम्प्लॉयमेंट को नै कि ता परे कोन करा गला कि लेबर इंटेंसिव जहा जहा रे लोक मानंकर बेसी से माने आसी कि पार्टिसिपेट करिवे सेई बढ़िया इंडस्ट्री गुडा को अणा गला एंड एट द सेम टाइम अ स्ट्रांग ओपिनियन वाज इमर्जिंग दैट ग्रोथ अलोन कैन नॉट सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पॉवर्टी एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड सेवरल स्पेशल प्रोग्राम्स नीड टू बी लॉन्च्ड 
खाली ग्रोथ जे जीडीपी बढ़ुची 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 ताले अनएम्प्लयमेंट पॉवर्टी माल न्यूट्रिशन रे सॉल्व रे बनी ता छडा केते गुडे प्रोग्राम आनिबा को पडिबो सेई समय रे चिंता करा गला आ सेति पई विभिन्न प्रोग्राम्स गुडा को अणा गला एंड दिस प्रोग्राम्स वर ब्रॉट सो दैट साइमल्टेनियस डेवलपमेंट कैन बी अचीव एंड एक्टिव लेबर मार्केट पॉलिसीज एएलएमपीज वर रिकॉग्नाइज्ड एज एन इंपोर्टेंट एंड इमीडिएट असेस टू एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर लेस एडवांटेज एथि रे सबटु आगरे नंबर 1 रे आसु छि हमर महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट जहा की हमर एनआरईजीए 7 9 जहा को रीनेम करा गला एमजीएनआरईजीए व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स फॉर एनहांसमेंट ऑफ लाइवलीहुड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड्स इन रूरल एरियाज ऑफ द कंट्री बाय प्रोवाइडिंग guarantee of at least 100 days of guaranteed wage employment in every financial year to every household whose me- adult member volunteer to do unskilled manual labor unskilled manual labor au pura desho re pakha pakhi 21.9% households were found to have benefited from mg nreg and similar trends have been found across sector in the year as per the data 2015 2016 that is the employment and employment survey 2015 2016 aur gote important scheme ja asila seta hala swarna jayanti gram swarozgar yojana now swarna jayanti gram swarozgar yojana gote self employment program for rural poor asila in which the people here the objective was to bring the assisted swarozgaris above the poverty line by providing them income generating assets through bank credit or government subsidy aur eta gote center aur state bhitre cost ta ko share kara gala in a ratio of 75 is to 25 center 75 state 25 aur नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स पे 90 इज टू 10 मन 90% सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का देबा एंड देयर वर प्रोविजंस मेड टू टेक अप स्पेशल प्रोजेक्ट्स जहां रो फाइनेंशियल इंप्लिकेशन अछि इन द रेंज ऑफ 1 करोड़ टू 15 करोड़ जहां ए बढ़िया प्रोजेक्ट जहां की इनोवेटिव अछि रेप्लिकेबल अछि सिंस इंसेप्शन 335 प्रोजेक्ट्स हैड बीन सैंक्शन टिल 2010 स्पेशल प्रोजेक्ट्स फोकस ऑन placement linked skill development and marketing linkages aaj jo ami skill development ko hocho eta sei ta amaro ei swaran jayanti gram swarozgar yojana it was there before taku tike au modify kori develop kori ki ona jai chi similarly swarn jayanti shehri rozgar yojana gram ame kotha karilu ta pare city pai bi eta ona jai chi urban poor also by providing wage employment and utilizing the labor of the urban poor for construction of socio economic useful public assets public assets banaiba pai ei jo amar urban youth achi urban unemployed achi under employment achi self employment ventures se mane banaibe public assets guda ko banaibe ta pai they have been taken under the swarna jayanti shehri rozgar yojana then the prime minister employment generation scheme or program pm egp prime ministers employment generation program it a launch hai thila august 2008 re and this has been a credit linked subsidy program for generation of employment opportunities through establishment of micro enterprises in rural as well as urban areas rural areas urban areas self employment to generate kariba pai to bring together widely dispersed traditional artisans rural and urban and give them self employment continuous or sustainable employment opportunity ani ba pai au a scheme pakha pakhi 37.4 lakh employment opportunity generate kare chila during the period of 11th five year plan so this scheme also helped a lot to bring in lot of your job opportunities 
but we see that poor educational infrastructure and poverty keep these vulnerable sections underdeveloped because education is the key to achieve liberation from all these socio economic problems our amarati educational infrastructure of poverty jebe ame vulnerable sections bisare katha ho so particularly about the tribal community and the backward community so although large number of schools and schemes have been established and initiated to impart education to tribal children aaj bhi tribal literacy low ho tribal children in scheduled caste why because for generations they have not been into this kind of education system that is why it is said today to give education in the language in one's own native language one's own mother tongue so that the child develops interest in that particular education or studies so there is urgent need to revamp the system and address the root cause of the problems of the tribals education just alone cannot solve the problem of unemployment in present context education saha there has to be agencies which are already providing skill development training reorient people for tribal development institutional trainings and supports assimilation without empowering the tribals is not fair otherwise tribals we studied about assimilation in the first class i hope you all remember the tribals who had poor access to all services cannot compete with advanced general population simple one question i will like to put gote tribal chua gote urban elite chua urban elite chua computer achi smart classes achi telephone achi digital gadgets achi bhalo public school re achi a gote tribal chua ja ke amar bolangir kolahandi ki sundargarh ro gaan re achi jo thi light nahi class nahi teacher achanti achanti nahi smart class ro question nahi internet ke bhi pahunchibo jana nahi computer ko ke bhi chhui nahi can that child compete with this urban elite child no so there needs to be socio economic development programs which have to be properly implemented in the tribal areas it will then help in bringing the real development of the tribal people so with this we come to an end of today's section if there is any question you may write and send me one person may write one question only thank you sir for a wonderful class we have one question uh, from uh, biswajit parida he wants to know every development come displacement is going on most of the tribal areas as compared to non tribal areas why so there is he as a student of tribal studies you must be aware that all natural resources where are the natural resources located they are basically located in the places where there are tribal people they are living there all natural resources bauxite iron ore whatever it is so that is why there takes place more displacement of tribal people vis a vis urban people is it clear thank you sir uh, we have another question yes how the migration of tribal women and girls could be controlled in india the answer to it lies in the last uh, third segment which we discussed today to check the migration of tribal women and children in india can be checked only when we give proper education and we generate local livelihood initiatives for tribal women in their area so if there is no malnutrition hunger they will not migrate to urban centers cities like delhi bombay where they are working as maid servants jodi gote adivasi mahila ta ta gare hi kisi rozgar sujog ta pai ko se nischit bhabare urban centers ko jiba pai chahibo na jodi ta sisu ko bhalo education aur swasthya suvidha sei ki milibo 
they migrate for the time so we have to develop the systems that cater to tribal livelihood for women in their local areas thank you sir sir uh, i want to clear my doubts or maybe i have a question uh do this pandemic impact in the life of uh, tribal people yes pandemic uh, pandemics definitely have impact on life of tribal people because i am working with an organization which i head which works for maji and majwar tribals in main part which is known as shimla of chatisgarh so <laughs> it has got an impact there are two kinds of impact one is urban and one is rural so tribals who have been working in urban areas because of this pandemic they have to come back to their home transportation nahi facilities nahi covid infection ro risk achhi jo mane sei risky states re kaam karuchanti aur ta pore puni tanko gaam ko pheruchanti te mane sankramit hochanti puni asi ki chances achhi jodi quarantine ho na anti there are loop holes in the system they may spread the disease to others in their community and the vulnerability which they face in terms of health and the hardships that is in the case of migration secondly jo mane tankori habitat re achanti gaan re achanti kona dekha jauchi je rural economy ro ebe ame globalized world katha karuchu rural economy bhi merge hoi jaichi hamara national international economy sa और जब ये सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट का ब्लॉक हो जब जिनिस पत्र गुड़ाक रेगुलरली गांव को हेमलेट शॉपकीपर को पहुंची पार नहीं दे आर नॉट गेटिंग दोस थिंग्स सो दिस इज अगेन हैविंग एन इंपैक्ट ऑन देयर लाइवलीहुड एंड फूड सिक्योरिटी बिकॉज़ खाली चावल धान खाई कि से माने रही परिबे नहीं यू नीड अदर थिंग्स व्हिच यू आर नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग इन योर विलेज मे बी शुगर मे बी जैगरी मे बी टर्मरी मे बी ऑयल एटसेट्रा सो the village shopkeepers they have very small amount of storage capacity and pandemic has caused the supply chain breakdown which has caused impact on the tribal people and also people who are sick with other diseases they are not being able to avail treatment so these are two rural and urban impacts on tribal community otherwise more and large initially they were the best safe people because this is not their disease it has come from the urban elites yes sir thank you sir thank you so much so if anyone have any question i think we have reached at the end of the session now i like to sum- summarize this class Uh, so today uh, we discuss about the tribal development in the pre uh, independent and post independent era we have learned about the impact of development discourse on tribal livelihood we discussed about the land alienation and migration the differences migration between the tribal migration and non tribal migration the changes occur in the life of tribal due to migration and the transformation in their uh, social and cultural life we also learn about the tribal revolt due to land alienation and finally we deeply understand about the tribal employment and unemployment in india so thank you so much sir for a wonderful class and i also thank like you. to thanks our listener uh, who have joined this